Hey guys, Brian here from Airs the Outdoors. So today we're going to be trying out a new choke tube for a Stoger M3500. We're going to try out the Carlson Longbeard XR right here. Uh, we have the uh, the original choke tube that we used to kill three birds between the two of us last year here in Pennsylvania. Uh, but we're going to try out this new choke tube and see what it can do. So stand by. Everybody's saying that the Carlson LBXR and the LBXR Winchester ammo is a really good combination. So we wanted to go out today, give an honest assessment, and see what the hype's all about. For any new hunters, how you pattern a shotgun is you want to find out where your pellets are impacting at certain distances so you know when a turkey's in front of you, you're not going to miss. Oh, you're good. Center of our pattern is a little bit right. Try to get it over here. That's throwing a pretty decent pattern of 25 yards. Then we'll try one more at 25, and we'll go back to 40. That's a little closer to center there. I think we'll come back just a little bit more. And we'll move back to, let's try 35 instead of 40, then we'll go straight to 50 after the 35 yarder. Well, folks, this is 35 yards. As you can see, the pattern's pretty well centered. I bet you over 50%, almost 60% is inside of that nine inch paper plate. Well, we're gonna head back to 50 and see what that does. But uh, that's looking pretty good right now. Okay, this, this is 50 yards, same thing, it's a two inch circle, that was the turkey's head, we, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, number five shot pellets inside of a two inch circle right there. And the pattern, the full pattern, is pretty much inside of this piece of cardboard, that's at 50 yards. So I'm thinking we might be able to even pull 55 or 60, but I wouldn't want to shoot any further than this. Due to a lot of the reviews that I read on the Carlson choke tube and the Winchester shells, there were a lot of complaints about guys missing at close ranges. This just shows the importance of patterning your shotgun. And today we patterned it and we're hitting good at 50 yards, but we're gonna go back to 15 yards right now. And we've been using the EOTech holographic sight. Uh, we're gonna because it can pinpoint just where you put the target at and where your point of impact is going to be. So we're going to give it a shot and see what exactly it does and why guys are complaining about their misses. This is 15 yards, like I said, and this is why guys can miss. Now, even though I'm sighted in for 50 yards, at 15 yards I'm a little low, but here's the pattern. Nothing much there but a straight hole. <laughs> Easily missed if a turkey ducks his head at the last moment. So try to have it calm when you shoot it, its head outstretched, and take it right underneath the head, neck area, and you should be good to go. 
Okay, so what do you overall think of the turkey choke compared to the normal Stoger choke that it comes with? Did you like it better or worse than what we had last year? Uh, it definitely patterns a lot tighter. It's almost scary. Like I say, on the close shots, you could really miss on a 15 yard shot. So you best pattern your gun ahead of time. But as for patterning out to 15 yards and reaching out to touch someone, this combination is deadly. I've never had a shotgun that ever shot this tight and this accurate. I don't know what it is about these new shells, but as you can see on the end there where the crimp's at, you don't see any marks. It's totally round. And the wads, this lock wads, they open up perfectly and it does one heck of a job. For me, it's a test. Is that shell fly in the box?